Good morning. 618 on the weather rundown. Still cloudy today, but just not as soggy as what we saw yesterday. As far as temperatures go, it will be very mild through the end of the week. Upper 40s, right around 50 by week's end into the weekend and warmer next week. We could see low 50s for our highs. So these kind of temperatures are definitely not typical of January. Our average high is 37. Take a look. News 8 Storm Team forecast today includes highs 46 to 50 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, a couple of showers through midday, then we're done with the shower threat. As we head into tonight, mostly cloudy, cooler, overnight lows 32 to 36 degrees. And tomorrow, partly sunny, mild, we're working in some sunshine for you with high pressure overhead. Tomorrow's highs also upper 40s. Here's a live look at what's plaguing you this morning. We have fog and it is particularly dense in some locations. York right now 39 degrees with calm winds and a mainly cloudy sky. So all of the warm, saturated air that's trapped at the surface here, that's going to keep fog hanging around for the next few hours. Notice York, your visibility is a quarter mile, Lancaster the same. Also in Carlisle and Sealands Grove, that's how far you can see it in front of you, just a quarter mile in most locations. So slow it down this morning, give yourself a few extra minutes due to the fog. Here are the current temperatures. It's 39 in Carlisle, 37 in Lebanon, even 40 for Gettysburg and Chambersburg. So these temperatures are more typical of our average high for this time of the year as opposed to the low. Live on Super Doppler 8, I won't rule out a few spotty showers working through until about lunchtime today. We still have an upper level disturbance crossing the Commonwealth and until that thing moves out to sea, we can't completely rule out a shower today. So overall, not as soggy as yesterday, but still the threat is there. Here's a look at the predictor showing a spotty shower or two, then mainly quiet for the evening. Clouds are going to hang tough, although we may see some clearing well to our south. We stay cloudy here for most of today. Tonight, clearing tries to happen, but I think it's our best bet late tomorrow morning. Here we go with high pressure rolling right overhead. That will help to clear out the sky, bring in drier air, and that'll chew up the clouds for us. So I think by Thursday afternoon, most spots are going to see mostly sunny to partly sunny skies. Limited time offer though. Here come the clouds again on Friday, along with some light rain. Friday afternoon into early Friday evening, that rain will move through ahead of a warm front. Here's a look at the extended forecast. Warm is the name of the game. You would look at this uh, seven day and you think, okay, that's a March forecast, right? And not something that you typically see in the mid part of January. Not even a hint of colder air or snow. And notice that most of the uh, overnight lows stay at or above freezing. So is it nice mm -hmm. to work with me without me complaining in the winter? This is great. No, isn't it great? <laughs> Wait till February, <laughs> right? Yeah, this no, is short-lived. That's a mild stretch. It really yeah. is. Yeah. All right. All right, Christine, thank you. Thank you, Christine. Let's get traffic.